In this video, we'll learn about element type selection in ANSYS APDL. Element types determine the physics of the problem or nature of the problem, or basically the equations that we want to solve. Could be structural equations, beam, truss, thermal, acoustics, or couple field problems that we want to solve. Element types have appropriate degrees of freedom that corresponds to their physics. For example, structural element types like solid 185 and solid 186 have ux, uy, and uz displacements x, y, and z directions as their degrees of freedom. So that makes these element types inappropriate for electrical or acoustic problem analysis. Element types are either lower order or higher order. I've shown the structural element types 185 and 186 here. 185 has 10 or 8 nodes at each corner. You have I, J all the way to P. So only corner nodes are defined for solid 185 element type. Whereas solid 186 has 8 nodes at the corners and also nodes at the midpoints of its edges. So it has 20 nodes, which makes it a higher order element type for structural analysis. The difference between the two element types or element type orders is that the lower order elements have less nodes and they take less time to complete an analysis. But the results might be a little bit inaccurate. Whereas higher order element types have more nodes, they are more accurate, but they take longer time for simulation because they have more nodes. As a result, they have more degrees of freedom to solve for. Element types also uh, have their element shapes for meshing. So I've shown four element types appropriate for structural analysis here, 185, 186, 285, and 187. 185 by default is a hexagonal element type or element shape with eight nodes. And 186 is also a hexagonal element type or element shape by default for, for meshing. Whereas 285 and 187 are by default tetrahedral. They don't have any uh, he hexagonal element shapes. When the geometry of your solid model is not appropriate for hexagonal meshing, it's best to use tetrahedral element shapes. However, there is a difference between the tetrahedral element shape of 185 and 285. And also, there's a difference between the tetrahedral element shape of 186 and 187. Because a hexagonal has eight corners and 185 has eight nodes, when you use that for tetrahedral element shape, some of the nodes will fall on top of each other. And same is true for element type 186, which has 20 nodes by default, whereas a tetrahedral element shape only has four corners. As a result, these element shapes will be called degenerate because they have nodes falling on top of each other. Whereas element type, one to, element type 285 only has four nodes at the four corners of the tetrahedral, and that makes it a lower order. So let me just write lower order here. And element type 187, which is a higher order tetrahedral element shape, has four nodes at the corners and also nodes at the edges, which makes it a 10 node higher order tetrahedral element for structural analysis. So the difference between degenerate and tetrahedral element shapes is defined or explained in here. Element types have behaviors that could be set using key options. For example, plane 182 and plane 183, which are 2D structural element types in ANSYS APDL, can be used for plane stress, plane strain, or axisymmetric behavior. To do that, after you select your element type, in the element type window, you click on the options button, and a window like this will pop up, and the key options are shown in here. Key option three for element types 182 and 183 is to determine whether you want to do a plane stress or a plane strain analysis. Most element types have key options that de determine their behavior, and these are explained and documented in the help documentation of ANSYS APDL. And finally, these are some of the element types that are used for different types of analysis. For example, in structural, you have in 2D and 3D the element types shown in this table. For beam, we don't have a 2D analysis, but there are two element types for beam analysis in 3D. Same for truss, 
and the shells. And then if you want to do thermal analysis or acoustic analysis or coupled field, these are the element types that you could pick for your simulation. So the element type technology and definition is explained in this video.